They are very cruel, very scary. They have a bad character like a devil. These devils come from another country, Bangladesh. For generations, the Rohingya have suffered from discrimination. Around 800,000 of them are denied citizenship under a law that was passed 30 years ago. Killing, rape and physical abuse have become a daily occurrence against Muslims in Myanmar. According to a group of UK-based NGO, 650 people have been killed in clashes and 1,200 others have gone missing. Myanmar has refused to recognize the Rohingya Muslims, who it claims are not natives and classifies them as illegal migrants. This comes as the Rohingya Muslims are said to be Muslim descendants of Turkish, Bengali and Pathan origin, who migrated to Myanmar as early as the 7th century CE. Even Nobel Peace Laureate, the West's most favored icon, Aung San Suu Kyi, says she has no idea at all if these people are Myanmar's national. Tens of thousands of the displaced people are still living in temporary accommodation. The Rohingya, who are mostly Muslims, live in tent shelters set up outside of town. They survive on food rations given by eight groups. This is all that's left of a village where two ethnic groups, the Rakhine and Rohingya, used to live. There's no reason for anyone to be here now. Homes were allowed to burn to the ground, and the villagers have long fled. In Burma, the Rohingya Muslims were massacred with the full compliance of the Burmese dictatorship's armed forces, and in some cases with their active participation. Huge numbers, hundreds, maybe thousands of Muslims have been murdered, massacred in Burma. It was a kind of tornado, a kind of tsunami, which swept this marginalized people not regarded by the Burmese dictatorship as Burmese citizens at all, not allowed to flee across the border by land or by sea to neighboring Bangladesh, an Islamic country with a government that claims to be a progressive one, has turned back the Muslims from Burma and left them adrift literally in the sea to die at the mercy of the Buddhist monks who've been involved in some of the worst atrocities against the Muslim people in Burma, or the goons of the Burmese dictatorship, one which was shunned for decades, and rightly so, at least officially, by most Western governments. But now, thanks to Burma's natural resources and the great treasure trove, this great virgin territory, which may now be opening up for Western companies and governments, the West wants to stick in with the Burmese dictatorship. They want to be on good terms with them. And so they haven't said one word, not one word from William Hague or any of these other monkeys about this series of atrocities, which is continuing until now, until this minute, against the Muslim people in Burma. So much so obvious. But where's the Muslim countries? Where's this Ummah that we talk about? Where's this Ummah that they teach us about?